Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 249. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. Today, we're going to talk about intrinsic value. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know about another awesome podcast called Profit Boss Radio. Profit Boss Radio is hosted by MBA and certified financial planner Hillary Hendershot, who highlights inspiring women who have created success in their financial and professional lives. Each week, you can tune in and hear how women have paved the road to sustain success with both beliefs and actions. Check it out at ProfitBossRadio.com. This one on intrinsic value, we're going to talk some about jewelry. So for the guys, maybe you might have to hang in there a little bit (laughs) and you might not be as interested in this, but I think there are some things in the men's world that, that apply to intrinsic value as well. But the reason I think intrinsic value is important is because when we buy something, when you're paying your hard earned cash for an item, you want to get an item that is worth what you're paying for it. In other words, if you're buying something and it's not intrinsically or inherently worth what you're paying for it, then you're actually taking a loss. Now, I talk about that all the time with new cars, for example, because when you buy a new car, just the minute that you drive it off the parking lot and it's no longer a new car anymore, you've lost quite a bit of value on the car. So just the fact that you're not buying it from the dealer means that several thousand dollars have been erased from the value of the car just by driving it off the parking lot. So that is a change in intrinsic value in the sense that the dollar amount is is not worth quite what you paid for it. But what I'm really talking about is something more like if you look at something that's made out of silver, for example, and it may have uh, $200 worth of silver in the item. But if you go into a store and buy that item that has $200 of silver in it, if it's in a, a certain store with a blue box that you get, they might put their name on it and charge five times that. So maybe you're paying $1,000 for $200 worth of silver. So that's what I mean by intrinsic value. What is the value of the item that you're buying without the label on it? And that's where I really want you to get savvy because Recently, I was in a jewelry store with some of my friends, and they were getting caught up in the marketing of something that uh, I really felt had no intrinsic value. And although it might look pretty, and they might have great marketing, the intrinsic value just wasn't there. So can you guess what it was that we were looking at? Well... <laughs> we were in a jewelry store looking at diamonds. And there are all different colors of diamonds. Of course, pink diamonds are some of the most valuable gemstones in the world. And they're the most concentrated form of wealth in the world, actually. You can put a couple of pink diamonds in your pocket and walk across the border with millions of dollars worth of goods in your pocket. But Pink diamonds, yellow diamonds, blue diamonds, there's all different colors of diamonds. Well, there are also brown diamonds. Now, brown diamonds, if you're thinking about someone in a mine in South Africa digging out diamonds, when they come across brown diamonds, since diamonds are graded from how what their color is, the perfect color being D color, As you look at diamonds, as it goes down the ranking and they become more yellow, you're getting more into the IJK category for color. Well, if you get to brown, brown must be, you know, way down the alphabet list for 
color and therefore very undesirable because again, perfection is the D color. So here we are in the jewelry store and here the jewelry store has taken brown diamonds, given them a fancy name and given them a fancy label and designer and sell and is selling them for exorbitant amounts of money because it's some, you know, designer, cool, beautiful ring. Well, they are beautiful. They are lovely. However, the intrinsic value of a brown diamond must be near zero. It must be near zero because the perfect diamond is D color and clear and white and beautiful. And so to have a brown diamond is really to have a diamond that really in the past isn't even marketable, couldn't even be sold to anyone. And suddenly, you know, there's this trend of taking brown diamonds, putting them in with white diamonds, making them look uh, in a beautiful design and making them, you know, putting them with a great label and in a great box and then selling them for exorbitant prices. I couldn't let my friends buy them. <laughs> I just couldn't. It was, I, I, you know, just thinking about the intrinsic value, you're really, you know, you bought half the ring that you're buying that has brown diamonds is worth nothing. And I'm not going to let you pay thousands of dollars for something that's worth nothing. So intrinsic value is something that you always want to look at, you know, how much really is there in silver in the silver that you're buying? How much gold is there really in the gold that you're buying? How much is the diamond worth in that fancy designer diamond ring that you're buying? And how much is that car actually worth that you're driving off the lot? So those are the things that I want you to think about. And, you know, it's crazy to me because you can have these fake designer handbags sold on the street that look exactly like the brown vinyl ones that are sold in a fancy store. In fact, a lot of people can't even tell the difference. Sometimes maybe they're even made at the same factory in China and one is sold in a store and one is sold on the street. One sells for $300 on the street and one sells for $3,000 in the store and they're the exact same item. Think about that <laughs> because one is purchased in a store and deemed to be, quote, authentic and the other one isn't, but they can't even, you can't even tell the difference sometimes between these. So it's very, very interesting, the whole concept of intrinsic value. But again, are you going to pay $3,000 for something that's vinyl or are you at least going to get something that's a nice leather? Are you going to get something that actually has intrinsic value to it? and is something with craftsmanship and leather and you know beautiful hardware to it or you're going to buy something that is vinyl with something stamped on it and has a high price tag because someone told you it was valuable so these are the things i want you to start thinking about what are things really worth what is a what is the intrinsic value of it and Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes, yes, we can want certain things and desire certain things that maybe don't have a great intrinsic value. In that case, you want to buy them on sale or wholesale. You want to find a connection and a way to pay a lot less for them. So if you must buy brown diamonds, then find a way to get them on sale or buy them 50% off at the closeout at Macy's or something like that, rather than paying full price at a fancy store uh, where you're just, you know, your money is flying out the window because you're, you're not getting the intrinsic value that you think you are. So something to think about. Uh, let me know what you think about this by leaving a review on the iTunes or Stitcher rating and review page. I'd love to hear from you and see what you think. If you haven't yet gone over and gotten your 11 quick financial tips to boost your wealth, what are you waiting for? Go to lindapjones.com, get my free report, get your net worth moving in the right direction today. That's all for now. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. 
Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.